Declan Bohan. We've had you on the show a couple of times, mostly as in your role as County Board Secretary. You're here today as the coach of what's now St Mary's, ladies. It's still a twin tinge of Borna Kula when you're on the sideline, but a uh, disappointing day for you today. Yes, Brefni, um Yeah, it's, it's like we obviously with Borna Kula St Mary's for the last couple of years, and it's now St Mary's. We have still three Borna Kula players involved, two of them playing today. And uh, unfortunately, Alison McKeown got injured. She did her cruciate ligament there back in two months or a month ago or six weeks ago so she was obviously a big loss to us today but look at it, we've got to the same stage this year as we have got over the last two years this is our third year in an intermediate uh, semi-final and our third year to be rolled over by Mohal yet again they're just like a, have an Indian sign over us I suppose at this stage and um, look at it, it was it was difficult we knew it was going to be a difficult task coming here we played them earlier on in the first round and, and the girls were under no illusion as to what Faced what they were facing in today's contest, and I think, to be honest, which uh, most people would agree, it was a very, very staunch, st st um, st sturdy, sturdy, I should say, uh, contest throughout. Um, the scoreboard probably a little bit unkind to our girls, but look, there was one player there that was made all the difference, and you know, it was obviously, it's Jarvis Burn kick balls over the bar for fun uh, despite the fact that you know we felt we did a good job on marshalling her kept her away from shooting for goals but she's a special talent and she was effectively the main difference between the team today you know do you feel maybe that she sucked jasmine may out of the game a little bit by dragging her over to the sideline and just having a run from there i, I it's, it's that's that is her style of play to be honest we've played her a few times now and she's not she doesn't hang around as a target player she forced herself into the game she does tend to pull players into pockets of space uh, and then run at them. But I'd have to say, to be fair to Jazz today, I mean, she really did a great job on her. She kept her away from getting that shot on goal, which, you know, the last day we played against them, she got a number of goals, I'd have to say, and seemed to get them relatively easily. But I, I, I thought Jazz had a fine game on her today, considering the task she was up against, you know. Where does the team go, for, from, go to from here? Well, look, at as I said to them over there after the game, you know, they won a junior championship back, uh, I think it's three years ago now in 2017, in their first year to, we'd say, reform, if you like to put it that way, and went straight to intermediates. They won a junior league the next year, and sometimes maybe you think that these things are going to keep coming year on year, but they don't. And as I said to them over there, you know, when you're playing at intermediate level, at a pretty high standard, which it is now, it's, it's the second most high standard, obviously, in the county next to senior. You don't have any divine right to win championships. You've got to earn them. And that can take years and years of work and cumulative years of work. And someday it will happen for them. Um, obviously, there are huge positives for the club in terms of the number of young players that are coming through. Uh, like th that, This team is actually younger this year than it was last year. And, and that makes a huge difference from the positivity point of view. And they, those girls will be a year older, they'll be a year stronger and a little bit more experienced, you know. Listen, hard luck today, Declan, and uh, I suppose enjoy your, your evenings now when you were on the training pitch. You get to do a bit more county board work as the as the season comes to a conclusion. Yeah, that's it, Brefney. Thanks very much. I've got Wednesday now and a Friday freed up, so I just don't know what I'm going to do with my time for the winter now, to be honest with you. I'm sure somebody will find something to keep yourself <laughs> occupied. OK, Brefney, and look, at I, I also well, just, uh, just wearing another hat, even though I have a hat on me here, which will cover all, I, I just like to say to you, um, I, I, much kudos for the amount of contribution, the contrib contribution you've made to the championships in your coverage from Leitrim GA and from Leitrim LGFA has been fantastic and a breath of fresh air and a huge opportunity for, for, for the promotion of the game and I have to say to you, well done. Thanks very much, Declan.